day everybody this is gardening warrior and we are at the queue table and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I had received from a friend that um, goes and picks up food from donation centers and gives them to people um, there was actually three bags and I know this is not all of it but I don't know where the rest of it went and I didn't see it when it got brought in so <laughs> I'm just showing you what was left on the table. Um, two things of macaroni and cheese. That's actually going to be lunch for today. Um, some peach halves in syrup. We don't usually do them in syrup, but hey, never look a gift in the mouth, um, a gift horse in the mouth, and so we're going to eat it. Um, some pumpkin. So we're actually going to use this in a recipe, so I'm going to put that to the side. Um, a nice big thing of Swanson uh, chicken broth, and that's 32 ounces, so that's really awesome. Um, there's also a container of beef broth, great value beef broth, and that gets used here quite a bit. Um, there was also some diced tomatoes, no salt added. Um, I know I had four cans of these, I don't know if maybe two of the cans got put up somewhere anyways I don't know but there's two of them um, and then there's some um, harvest French style green beans fresh cut green beans and then I'm very excited about this because I was just about to make our tortillas and these are refried beans, and Maggie loves refried beans on her tortillas, so I now have two cans, um, because I was going to have to make some, and I'm, I'm just too tired, I just can't. We had a long day yesterday going in and out and up and down the stairs, and I'm just tired. So I was really encouraged to see these, and these are the American Beauties, she really likes these, and, um, the Goyas, so that was really exciting, um, all right, well, I have two cans of that, so maybe I'll put one can in with the mac and cheese and um, put the other can on her um, her tortillas. All right, well, that's the end of this little bitty haul. Not really a haul. It was more of a friend going and getting boxes for, you know, everybody and splitting them up and... But like I said, there was three sacks that she brought in here. And I've got the sacks. I just don't know where the rest of the stuff is. Um, so, but that was very helpful. That'll make a few meals or at least add to a few meals. Um, we also went and got the Tom Turkey from the Crim's Tom Turkey Drive yesterday. And the same friend that brought me these, um, she's a single gal, so she doesn't need the whole turkey. She'll be here Thursday anyway, so we're going to cook up her turkey um, and my turkey in our my roaster. And that way I'll have lots of turkey and lots of broth. And anybody who's been around for a while knows my family doesn't really prefer turkey, at least not the ones that are here. Um, not for, you know, eating straight out. We add it to a lot of things. Um, so that's, you know, we'll have turkey broth and we'll have turkey meat on, in the shelves, um, you know, canned. And they like to add it to soups and stuff like that. Uh, they prefer ground turkey and they prefer it added to, you know, like with sausage and, you know, other stuff like that. But they don't really care to eat it off the bird. Um, I like the dark meat because I like to make sandwiches out of it but I like to use the white meat to add in place of chicken um, if I have it and I have plenty of chicken on my shelf I'm actually looking at it right now uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really excited about that um, the two turkeys and they're really nice sized turkeys and I'll get to that in just a second all right, I'll be right back with the beautiful turkeys and the items from the Krim's um, Tom's Turkey Boxes. 
which we couldn't bring the heavy boxes up, so we brought them up in bags, but the boxes are in my friend's car, and she'll be bringing them back tomorrow, because I love those boxes. They're so good and heavy and really great for storing food in. All right, I'll be right back. So this is the stuff we got from the Tom's Turkey. So this is the items from the Tom's Turkey Drive, minus a few. Um, my little one got into some of the rolls, and they had one this morning. Um, there was a gravy mix, some butter, there's some green beans, there's actually two green beans here, but that's because I traded, um, my friend for a can of corn. Um, then there was candied yams, cranberry sauce, uh, six apples. A rather large turkey that's still solid frozen. It says three and a half to four and a half hours. But I can't see. It's a Genio premium frozen turkey. And there's two of them because I, like I said, I, my friend's only a single woman. So she gave me her turkey and we're going to cook them both in my roasters. But I need those to defrost, or they're not going to be eaten tomorrow, which is perfectly fine. We've got lasagna and other stuff we're eating tomorrow. So we've got croutons for stuffing mix. She gave me her croutons. Oh. And these are the croutons for my stuffing mix. This was all in my box, and also... Five pounds of potatoes. We have two five pounds of potatoes. Uh, yes, we have two five pounds of potatoes because we took my friends and she had plenty of stuffing, so she gave me her crouton stuffing mix. Um, and then, of course, I have mine and then the green beans. So that's what I got from the Tom's Turkey. This is all my stuff here. And I think, wasn't there like a... A cream or something? There was butter. Oh, and a half a gallon of milk. But since I had two half gallons because my friend didn't need hers, I put them into my one gallon um, milk container, which was cleaned out. And I think that was all with that. All right. And finally, today my friend Darshell went and picked up a box from Four Roots... Um, and I'll put a link down below to explaining what that is. A it's like the USDA, but it's the Washington State yeah. DA. Yeah. <laughs> and what was in the box was cranberries, oranges, celery, Brussels sprouts. Turnip, carrot, and beets. Some roots, root, a bag of roots. Um, some potato variety. More potatoes. <laughs> onions, which I don't see an actual onion. Are these onions? Those are shallots. Do they think they're onions? No, there was an onion in that box. No, there was no onion. Oh, there was an onion. It just got taken out. Oh, good Lord, oh, have mercy. You put it somewhere. We got an MIA onion. Oh, well. There's also well. a pepper in there. Shallots. Heavy cream. Don't ignore this. This was from the Tom's Turkey. The heavy whipping cream. Some butter. Some dairy gold natural butter. This is good stuff. Not as good as Kerrygold, but pretty darn good. And cheese. This is not on the list, but it's cheese curds, and these are absolutely magnificent. Making some potato variety stuff, and um, yeah, just trust me. If these don't get eaten, they'll be used for a recipe. They'll be eaten one way or another. And a beautiful ham steak, which will probably add to the quiche that I'm making um, for Eli with the broccoli. Um, Alright, so that's what we got. That's all the donations that we got. Um, 
yesterday. Well, and the four roots came this morning. So I'm very excited. The girls are very excited. We have all kinds of stuff going on in the next few days that we're going to be cooking up a storm. Like the children's birthday. Yes. We'll be back in a little bit with another video, which you probably won't see until later tonight. Or actually, you probably see that video before you see this video right here. Um, because it's for the twins' birthday. And Al is going to help me make cakes and stuff. She told me I couldn't show her face, though. So, yeah. All right, well, give thanks in all things. And I've got a lot to be thankful for, including three children that wish to eat all this food. So I'm going to get cooking. Y'all have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.